Christmas. In blue corner, we have from Ukraine, Ivan Kudelaru. All right, we welcome back to the highest level of amateur MMA competition, Team Ukraine's Ivan Kurelaru. In the quarterfinals, he defeated Konstantin Risto of Team Bulgaria by way of guillotine choke. And then after that, a unanimous decision victory over Viktor Georgiev of Team Bulgaria as well. This guy is so incredibly experienced. Uh, he was the uh, 2021 IMAF uh, World Cup winner amongst other things and we've seen him at such a high level you it's almost how you, you ask yourself Dean is there something this guy can't do but what he can do is wrestle and box really well lately I've seen from his performances more low leg kicks to set up the head kicks but he does that when he's more comfortable in the striking often in the later rounds and he is a 2022 European uh, silver medalist. I'm sure he'd like to get a gold this time. And here we have the most active fighter in Sweden, Hamara Fight Club's Anton Ringval. He made his way here by a first defeating Milan Sto uh, Stojikovic of Team Serbia by way of triangle choke and after that the decision Benoit Prigent of Team France this is a guy who it's his first time competing in the Swedish national team but mark my words it won't be his last when he fought Benoit Benoit was a really good striker and an excellent grappler and was really impressed with Ringvel's ability to overcome that grappling he's able to switch the position he wrestles really well against the cage and he's always looking for the transition to get that top position so I'm going to wonder whether he's going to try and take this one down to the canvas. He's got good striking, though. His, his left hook, right hand combination is beautiful. His high kicks are excellent, but he's going to be cautious of that takedown. Yeah, exceptionally well-rounded is Anton Ringval, and he actually spent one of the last weeks of his camps prevent, uh, preparing for this in Malmo at Redline Training Center, training under UFC veteran Hamid Akira Korsani, amongst many others. Referee in octagon, Mr. Joao Vitor Costa, Portugal. Guys, have a clean fight. When I said stop, you stop. Protect your talent, okay? Good luck. All right, Team Ukraine's Ivan Kurolaro in the blue corner. Team Sweden's Anton Ringval in the red. Should be a fast-paced battle here. As mentioned, by Watkins, Anton Ringval, the most active fighter in Sweden. It's like you see him inside the cage every other week or something like that. Build it out process here early in round one. Looking to gauge the distance with the lead hand. There's the low calf kick. We spoke about the walkouts from Kurilaru. Trying to gauge the distance with that jab. Left hook, right hand combination from Bingval. Single leg there from Kurilaru. He gets it. It's going to pressure him up against the cage. He loves to bump off the cage here. He drives forward with his lead shoulder and pulls the hips away of his opponents to achieve the double leg. Anton Ringval has been training with... Benjamin Hajijan, who has repped the Swedish national team several times and who is also a Swedish national champion wrestler. So no doubt Ringval has been working on his takedown defense diligently and it's uh, evident here, right, right in front of us. Kurularu on paper, more experience as an amateur athlete. 15-7-0 for Kurularu. And then... Looking at Ringval 6 2 0. The current he winner does have more fights than that. Wins. Though. Topology doesn't have all of his fights. He does have several more uh, than what is displayed. But I mean, even just looking at that, you see some of the best fighters in, in, in Europe, the likes of uh, Denmark's Abdullah Ali Amer, uh, Miro Honkanen, and Werner Rihakinen of Finland. And then, of course, Raham Cafe, who's also rep the Swedish national team. So, all of Ringwell's latest wins pretty much are all against top-level European competition. 
Looking at the rankings as well, Kurularu is ranked two in Europe in the Balkans. Ringval, number three in Europe in the Nordic area. So looking at the stats here available online, looks like Kurularu with more experience, a little bit more higher ranked. But of course, just one place. So this is a fairly even match fight here. It's going to be an interesting uh, bout between two countries, Ukraine and Sweden. Kurularu drops down for the single leg. So for the takedown defense with Ringwald holding up very nicely here, he's very close to his corner as well, where we see Besam Yusuf and Jürgen Hambari. Kurularu usually gets the takedown in this position. He's struggling now, though. Yeah, he does usually facilitate it by now. And, and there's a really good frame on the face here from Ringval. He's doing the right thing in, in utilizing the separation. The next step from that would be the underhooks. And, uh, I mean, as we look at the replay, you see the forward pressure from Kurularo to, to engage the cage. What we've got to see Ringval do is keep the back off that cage, use the underhook um, to try and get round to the outside position. There's a brief taste of the ground there for Kurularu. And he switched to the single wonderfully, using the head as pressure as well as the strikes there to engage. But as you said, really decent defense up against the cage from Ringval, but it is defense. It's Kurularu on the outside position, pressuring, got the first takedown up. I would have to say there, the first round goes to Kurularu. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Even though he didn't necessarily get everything done that he wanted to, he still was the one pushing the pace, and at the very least, he was the one on the offense. So it's going to be the onus is on Anto Ingval now to even out the score. here between Ukraine and Sweden. Nice leg kick there from the Swede. Rilaro on the single, switches to the double. Rinval again going for that 100%, looking to turn Kurilaru around to his right side. Dragging the hips away, well, really well away from the cage here, but Ringvel's still got some spring in his step, trying to get back to the feet. Gives up the back, however. Tricky position there. Looks like Kurularu readjusting here, looking for a new means of attack. Swedish corner asking for underhooks and then a couple knees, as well as some slaps, actually. Okay, and there you have it, Kurilaru gets that ground position that he was looking for. He's got to mind his P's and Q's, though, because let's keep in mind that Anton Ingval, he did score a triangle submission off of his back previously in the tournament. Kurilaru is staying in this elevated position just to avoid just that, the triangle entries and potentially the armbar entries as well. When he goes head down, he's always controlling the opposite side leg to disengage the clasp of the triangle. Always looking to try and secure the side control position. There it is. He's in a much better position here. Now you can hear the crowd, educated crowd here in Serbia. They start to applaud the second he gets the side control. Understanding he has a more of an affordance for ground and pound and submission attacks from this position. Yeah, definitely. This is absolutely what Ivan Kurularu wanted to get into a dominant position on the ground where he's done so much damage before. Ringwald manages to reestablish full guard. Just over 30 seconds left to go. Ringwald looking to test the Kimura trap there on the right arm of Kurilaru. He can use that to submit and sweep. He's got to get a hold of the wrist and figure four around here. Let's it go. Hips on the uh, feet on the hips, excuse me, from Ringval. 
get some distance. He can kick off those hips and get back to his feet. But coming up to the last 10 seconds of round two here, Golari pressures the hips forward, looking for the ground to pound. All right, a strong round for the Ukrainian here in the second stanza, as he did manage to get that takedown that he was looking for and managed to land a bit of ground and pound and even get to side control. Looking at the replay here, it seems like Kurilaro has found the groove to get this top position. And he's an expert with the ground and pound. If he has to stay in this top position, he went for the uh, pressure choke there, but didn't get it. Ringval still active off of his back here, though, but this is where it starts to become exciting because Ringval, you have to argue, a strong case, and he's got to look for the finish in this matchup. And you would imagine that's either going to be more likely on the feet or if he can pull out a submission. So far, in that bottom side position, he's found it difficult to gain any edge with regards to chasing the arm bars and the triangles off of his back. So if he gets the hands going, try to look for the uh, knockout or the TKO, or if he can get in that top position, maybe he can look for a submission from there. I'm doing well. No stranger to digging deep and getting the win in an uphill battle. He's done it before when he went away to Finland. And one cannot count them out doing it here tonight. That being said, well, Ivan Kurilaro, by far the best competition that Ringwell has ever faced. Oh, pressing forward here. You're looking for the right hand. There's a nice clean left hook for Ringwell. Single leg entry from Kurilaro. That pressure and that forward motion. Clasp of the hands against the takedown again, looking to drag Ringval away from that cage. Ringval looking to get back to his feet. Got to be careful of the back take, however. And some blood coming from the eye of Anton Ringval now on the right side. One of those strikes on the ground, surely. Well, doing the right thing here when he gets back to his feet to turn towards his opponent and try and utilize the overhook for a base point to hike his opponent up and also fight in the wrist to prevent the ankle pick and the double leg entry. Got to see Ringvel though utilize the unhooks. He could use those shoulder shots and the knees to create space. If he doesn't get those unhooks, he's going to get taken down here like we see again from Team Ukraine. Very nice work there from the Ukrainian. Keeping his cool, and why wouldn't he? I mean, Kurolaru is so experienced at the highest level of amateur competition. Spinners around, takes the back now, and lands some of those big knees. Kurolaru stay real heavy here, lacing the leg, using the ground to pound. Ringvel rolls through to his back. Kurolaru looking for the mount here. If he pushes the legs through and walks up, he can achieve the mount. Ringval turning the angle here. There's a little bit of frustration on the face of Ringval. Kurilaru's style as well is break you down and wrestle you to the canvas. And that's very tiring and it can be frustrating when you consistently try and get back to your feet and get taken down again. You're going to see some sort of explosion here from Ringval. He's got a minute left in round three to do something decisive. If he gets to his feet here, he's going to try and turn in towards Kurilaru and use that wizard again. Body lock there for the Ukrainian Kurilaru. And Team Sweden coach just said, you've got to finish him. You've got to do everything you can to finish him. Oh, but look at that. For a moment there, Kurilaru had the full mount position. Ringvel doing all the right things defensively off of his back here to get back to full guard. With just 20 seconds left in this third and final round, up against the cage, it's going to be very difficult for Ringvel to throw something up, but he's got to try and do that. He's going to try and push the arm through, kick up for the triangle, maybe the arm bar. Last 10 seconds left here, Seb. It's going to be a big ditch for Ringvel to try and get the submission victory now. Easier said than done with someone like Kurularu on top of you, and it looks like the Ukrainian is going to get the gold after coming up short ever so slightly last time in the European finals. And for it being his first time in the national team, I think Anton Ingval did not disappoint despite any of that. Sure, he probably will not get the gold here tonight, but he definitely proved that he belongs at the highest level. He also tasted that level of wrestling as well. 
in the amateur rule set. It's going to now prepare him to go back to the drawing board and improve the wrestling. It's going to add another facet to the game to improve him as a mixed martial artist. Ivan Kurularu soaking up that moment. He's constantly at such a high level at the IMFs. You always see him in the biggest possible matchups. As we await the decision here, let's make it official. by judges. The winner is in blue corner, Ivan Kurularu, Ukraine. Ivan Kurularu of Team Ukraine with a unanimous decision victory. He finally gets that elusive European gold medal and he certainly earned it. And now we will have a medal ceremony for... Uh, Looking at the replay here, we see how he earned that gold medal. Wrestled Ringvold down to the canvas, consistently threatening the back, getting the body lock, switching to the single. Threatened them out previously as well here as he exposes the back with some nice short shots with the ground and pound from the top position. Grunvald unable to get any offense off of his back, and Kurularu takes the lightweight gold. Ivan Kurularu just too good. He gets that goal that he definitely earned. Very, very strong performance from the Ukrainian. And the uh, bronze medalist is uh, Mr. Benoit Pujon, France. Another bronze medalist is Mr. Viktor Georgiev, Bulgaria. Silver, Anton Ringwall, Sweden. for national anthem of Ukraine. Thank you.